Are you going on vacation soon, English winners? Get this. There are 17 to 18 tenses in the English language. Now that's a lot, but fortunately, to travel effectively in an English-speaking country, you are only going to need five. So with these five tenses, you're not going to be fluent, but you're going to have functional English that will be perfect for whatever you're trying to do in your travels in everyday situations. First, let's look at some basic scenarios or situations where tenses are necessary. Your contact is on the phone with you right now. They are in their hotel room, but you are waiting by the swimming pool. How can you tell your contact where you are so that you can meet? Your tour guide said something, but you didn't hear him. How can you get him to repeat what he said? You're turning your car back into the rental car company and you had a minor accident. How do you explain to them what happened? You received an email that you plan to read, just not now. How can you tell the person who sent it that you are planning to read it later? So you went to a hotel and there was a friendly bellhop or concierge. They helped you a lot. How can you ask them if they are going to be at work tomorrow? You see, in all these situations, you need tenses, and you will need the five that I'm going to explain in this lesson. So tenses are important. As we study each tense, I want you to repeat the example sentences one, two, three times. Pause the video if you have to, because you need the practice, okay? In the comments, as we practice the tenses, I want, to, I want you to write your own sentences, okay? That way you can practice more. And along the way, I will show you something called signal words. These signal words are your friend. They are attached to different types of sentences with different tenses. The signal words will help you know which tense the speaker is using and which tense you will use in responding. Hint, they're the same. So future tense question, future tense answer, that kind of thing. So you'll see the tense, you'll see the examples, and you'll see signal words. Let's go to the first tense. Present progressive. He is speaking, he is not speaking. Is he speaking? Simple past. He left, he did not leave. Did he leave? Past progressive. He was driving, he was not driving. Was he driving? Future one with going to. She will eat. She will not eat. Will she eat? And then, of course, going to. She is going to eat. She is not going to eat. Is she going to eat? Future one progressive. The train will be arriving soon. The train will not be arriving on time. Will the train be arriving on time? So our first tense will be present, progressive. To do the present progressive tense, you need your subject, you need your be verb, in present it's going to be is, and then you're going to need your ing verb, okay? Let's go over the purposes for present progressive. The first example is, look, Peyton Manning is throwing the ball. So present progressive can be used when something is happening in that moment of time, right now. Or, you'll hear this at the airport, the plane is boarding now. When you hear a sentence like the plane is boarding now, that means that an action is happening right now, but only for a limited amount of time, maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 30 minutes. It depends on what is happening. Third example. At this moment, she is packing for her trip. In that case, present progressive is used to show that something is being arranged for the future. So maybe preparing, getting ready, packing, getting settled, those types of things. Present progressive, you're getting arranged for the future. 
some signal words might include right now, now, listen, look, just now, at the moment, or at this moment. So back to the example. Your contact is in the hotel room talking to you on the phone and you are down at the swimming pool. How can you tell him where to meet? Good question. You use present progressive tense. Check this out. I am waiting near the swimming pool. That's how you do it. Let's go to the next tense. Simple past. Simple past is just subject, he, she, it, they, Thomas, David, Loretta, plus uh, a verb, ran, uh, walked, uh, flew, ate, things like that. If it's a question, it will have the, the past tense of the word do, did, followed by the subject and the verb. Did he leave? He ran versus the question form, did he run? First example, after two hours, we left the zoo. This is used with past tense to show an action that has happened zero times, one time, or maybe several times. This morning, I came, I ate, I took pictures, and I left. This is where simple past is used to describe events happening one after the other. I came, I ate, I saw, I took pictures, and I left. While you walked on the beach, did you listen to music? This is another case of simple past being used to describe something happening at the same time something else is happening, and you're simply reporting it or asking about it. While you were on the beach, did you listen to music? Signal words. Yesterday, this morning, in 2009, at the hotel, Notice all these signals are time and place. So anything that indicates time or season or places, those are your signal words to know that you might just be dealing with past tense, simple past. Let's go over the question I gave you at the beginning, okay? Here it goes. Your tour guide said something, but you didn't hear him. How can you get him to repeat himself? And the answer is simple. What did you say? And that's how you use simple past to get the information. Now, let's go to the next one. Past progressive tense. Past progressive tense is subject, be verb. It's going to be was because it's the past tense for be, and then ing verb. It's just like present progressive, but is changes to was. Let's look at some examples and uses of past progressive tense. We were swimming under a waterfall earlier today. In this case, past progressive is used to describe something that happened at a specific moment in time. While my son was taking pictures, my wife was driving. In this case, past progressive is used to describe two events happening at the same time. Note this is different from simple past. While you were walking on the beach, did you listen to music? Because listening to music happened inside that moment of walking in the beach. In this case, two people are doing different things at the same time. While my son was taking pictures, my wife was driving. Third example, I was admiring a statue when a bird landed on it. In this case, past progressive tense is used to show when you're doing something or something is happening and then that thing is interrupted by something else that's happening. So I was admiring the statue when a bird landed on it. So like I said, past progressive is almost exactly like present progressive. The only difference is the change in tense of your be verb. The plane is boarding becomes the plane was boarding. Your signal words are going to be a little bit different with past progressive tense because they talk about things happening at the same time or interrupting. So while, as long as, during. So you're telling the car company that a minor accident happened. How do you explain to them what had happened? 
It's simple. You use past progressive tense. Check this out. I was stopping at a stop sign a while ago when someone backed into the back bumper of the car. Sorry about the dent. Next one. Future with the word going to. There's two ways to do this. One, subject plus will plus uh, infinitive verb. So, I will run or I will talk. Then you have going to, which is subject plus be verb plus going to plus the present tense verb. We'll go over some examples. You use future tense for a decision made in the future. Example, I will make spaghetti for dinner or I am going to make spaghetti for dinner. Or you can make a conclusion with regards to the future, like I will go to Poland or I am going to go to Poland this summer. So signal words are just anything pointing to a future time. Tonight, in an hour, next month, this summer, next year. Those are your signal words. Very easy. You received an email that you plan to read, just not now. How can you tell them that you are going to do it in the future? Easy. I will read it in the morning or I am going to read it in the morning. That's it. Last tense, number five. So finally, you have your future progressive, just like we had past progressive, present progressive. Now we have future progressive. Subject plus future tense, be verb. Finally, ing verb at the end. Let's look at some examples. If an action is going on at some time in the future, you'll hear this a lot with travel, the plane will be arriving soon. That's future progressive. So in any action that is sure to happen in the future, like if there's a 100% chance of rain, it will be raining tomorrow. The signal words are the same as future. Tomorrow, next week, in three hours, soon, later, anything that shows there's going to be a future action. There was a friendly employee at the hotel. They helped you a lot, and you want to know if they are going to be there tomorrow. Here is how you ask. Will you be working tomorrow? Will you be working tomorrow? Okay, those are all five tenses. Congratulations. Let's review the situations to see what you've learned. Your contact is on the phone with you right now. They are in their hotel room, but you are waiting by the swimming pool. How can you tell your contact where you are so that you can meet? Your tour guide said something, but you didn't hear him. How can you get him to repeat what he said? You're turning your car back into the rental car company, and you had a minor accident. How do you explain to them what happened? You received an email that you plan to read, just not now. How can you tell the person who sent it that you are planning to read it later? So you went to a hotel and there was a friendly bellhop or concierge. They helped you a lot. How can you ask them if they are going to be at work tomorrow? Feel free to watch this video again for more practice. Until then, check out my listening playlist and also my pronunciation playlist if you want more lessons on English and speaking it very well. Uh, subscribe for more English Win videos so I can reach you in the future. And until then, keep winning, English winners. Bye now.